Hello everyone. I am Nilesh Todi from MMP Filtration India. This machine is an electronic machine for the filter cartridge winding, which I am going to be talking about today. We at MMP are manufacturers of these filters for the last uh, 15 years and uh, by time we have got a lot of education and experience uh, how to make a very beautiful filter by which we have developed this machine which is having a speciality of a software so the software over here is the unique thing which we shall be talking about along with this winding machine which is one of its kind all over the world this machine is uh, of a 40 and 40 configuration which is 40 inch filter by 40 inch filter we can manufacture these machines by a 10 inch to 70 inch. So there's a huge variety and spectrum of uh, the sizes of filters that can be manufactured by these machines. At the moment, uh, we are having the polypropylene yarn on this machine, which is showing the winding patterns and the filter cartridge being manufactured. But we can manufacture the filters by various different materials such as polypropylene, cotton, nylon, rayon, polyester, uh, glass and many other varieties that you want. Now I'll be showing you the passage how the yarn is going to be coming uh, to the machine for winding. This is the supply package. Uh, the yarn travels from the supply package through the tension control system and then it goes to the travels guide and this travels guide allows the filter cartridge to be manufactured. Now let me show you this machine in running condition. It's a very simple machine to start. There's just a simple push button over here by which you press and the machine starts. Diameter of the full cartridge can be adjusted through this electromechanical stop motion. This setting point over here by which the desired full cartridge diameter can be adjusted. When desired full package diameter has reached, the spindle will automatically stop and now we'll see that happening. The electromechanical stop motion has finally stopped the spindle the spindle has reached its desired diameter. You can see that the cartridge is very consistent in its micron pattern without flaws has been produced. This is a 5 micron pattern. We are going to change this to a 25 micron pattern and you will see how easy it is to change from one pattern to the other pattern. In this electronic winder to change the pattern we only need to change the corresponding number which is displayed over here. Currently, this number which has been displayed is for a pattern for 5 micron setting. I'm going to show you how simple it is to change this to a 25 micron pattern and what corresponding number can we put on this. Now, I'm going to change the number to 25 micron setting. So we go to the set button and we put the numbers. So the number that I require is 3307 and then press the set button for a longer time and now I'm ready to manufacture a 25 micron. Now let us see the result. This is the pattern which has been derived from the new setting that I had put on the panel and the earlier pattern which was for 5 micron was this. You can see the difference in the two patterns by a simple push button change for the pattern. Quick changeover of pattern has been possible due to individual motor drive to cartridge and cam and its electronic drive control. This is the cartridge drive and this is the cam drive motor. Due to the electronic system and by no presence of pulleys and gears in the machine, 
the maintenance is negligible and uh, the cartridge patterns which is manufactured is flawless. The winding speed can be steplessly increased or decreased by simply turning these knobs. This electronic winder is supported by a specially developed computer software which is of great use to the manufacturers in many ways. If you observe the cartridges, you will see typical diamond shapes on its surface. There are number of rows of the diamonds which is on lengthwise, which is this, and circumference wise, which is number of diamonds on the circumference. This is a 10 inch filter cartridge and there are three and a half diamonds and this is how you calculate. You can see this is one diamond over here, the second diamond over here, the third diamond over here, and you just have half diamond over here. Simultaneously, you will see there's one diamond on the circumference. So you have three and a half diamonds on the length and one diamond on the surface for the 10 inch filter. In a different filter, you will see, this is a 20 inch one micron filter. You've got number of diamonds on the length wise over here. If we count, there's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, or number of diamonds, probably 40 diamonds on the length wise. And on the circumference, you can see one, two, three, four and five, five diamonds on circumference. Now the change of the diamonds on the circumference and length determines the pattern of the filter and the pattern which has to be set for a particular micron for the filter cartridge. These diamond patterns influence the filter characteristic which is most important for filtration. Different type of yarn is used for cartridges such as polypropylene, glass, cotton, nylon, etc. Yarn diameter is a very important parameter with regards to the pattern setting. This is the software screen and various parameters has to be given as inputs on the software to derive the ratio of the machine which ultimately has to be put on the machine for getting the exact pattern. The first is the stroke length in inches. Now let's say this is a 10 inch filter and this 10 inch filter will be as uh, the stroke length in inches. So we put the value on the first as 10 inch. Coming on the second one which is the empty tube diameter, we have the empty tube which is the filter core and we put the empty tube diameter in millimeter and for example we put a value over here as 31 millimeter. Then we go to the next uh, subject, which is uh, the full package diameter. Now, let's say we want to achieve a 63 millimeter dia on the full package, then we put a 63 millimeter as a value on this section. Then further we go down on the lengthwise diamonds. Now we have to count the lengthwise diamond, which is number of diamonds on the length, which I explained earlier, which is one, two, three, and half, three and a half diamonds on lengthwise. Then we put the value of the diamonds as 3.5 over here and move down on circumferential diamond, which is one diamond on the circumference over here. And we put the value as one diamond as the value. Then the most important is the yarn distance. Now we need to ensure that the yarn distance from one to the other is what we know and what we have to put. So let's say the yarn distance over here is one millimeter. So we put as one millimeter over here, one. Then we go to the crossing angle in degree and machine input value by getting the number, we just press submit. Now we get the value automatically for the angle which is gonna be there on the filter cartridge and the machine input value for the ratio has come to 3.5. 49141. The crossing angle in degrees is very important because this degree of angle is showing the angle of the diamonds on the filter, which is very important for the filter cartridge edges to be controlled for not falling off. So the other advantage of this software is that if you want to replicate, which is copy a filter which has been given from a customer and he wants a specific diamond or a specific pattern, of the filter, then it's very easy by having this software. 
So let's say this filter, which has been received from one of our customer, has number of diamonds uh, on the pattern on the lengthwise and uh, number of circumference diamonds. So we just start counting the number of diamonds on the length and on circumference, put in the values, and we get the exact ratios, which has to be put on the machine, by which we can replicate the filter by the software. These are the values which has been put on the software for the filter we have received from our customer. And now by submitting, we see that the cross angle in degrees is 20.7 and the machine input value that we have to put on the electronic software winding machine is 3.40519. We've put the value that we had derived on the software as 3.4052 and now we're gonna be manufacturing the filters to see if we get the exact pattern which has been received from our customer. This filter has been made by putting in the ratio, which is against the sample that we have received, which is this one. And if you compare these two patterns, you will see exactly the same pattern, which is being derived by putting in the ratio by the software, which has been developed for the winding machine. So it's very simple to make new patterns from the software and by the electronic machine jar, just by putting in the ratio. Similarly, you can design the filters according to your pattern by any kind of yarn which is re being required for, such as polyester, cotton, polypropylene, etc. And the variation in the diameter of the yarn which is possibly there uh, being received from various yarn manufacturers, this software can help you design the pattern you desire with variation and combinations. In case you have the machines which are based on gears and pulleys currently which you are being using for your filter cartridge manufacturing and you want to switch over to the ratio based machine which is the electronic uh, software based machine then you can give us the details and our experts will be able to help you in this regards to get and derive the exact ratios. We thank you all for watching us and uh, we appreciate your time. For more details, you can contact us on our website or our email, which is on the following link. Thank you.